but right now it's recording. What you got there, buddy? That is a some kind of Is this the Gobi Bryant? No. Oh. Is this going to be the killer? Okay. Well, I'm hanging on that one. I like how you just gave me one. So is this the only one I get today? Yeah. Oh, I better make it last, huh? You want to tell everybody what we're doing today? We're going to go uh, try to catch some bass on Lake St. Clair. Is that where we're at? Lake St. Clair? This is the Gobi Bryant. The Gobi Bryant? Ned Rig. What launch are we at? What's the name of this launch? Uh, Harley Anson. Harley Anson Launch. Yep. It is pretty big, but not that busy, he said. Kind of busy to me, but not bass fishermen, so. What are we fishing for today? Anything that bites. All right. Let's get that out. Get that out. Let's not put the drone up here. Because uh, for those of you who may or may not know, last time I was in a bass boat with Jeff, we were on Traverse Bay, and we decided to launch my $1,000 drone. That console right behind you is empty. It's still in the bottom of Traverse Bay. If anybody wants it, you can go to Traverse Bay and search for a drone. Check it out. Yeah, there it is. Pretty impressive. We're on the old Ranger. What kind of Ranger is this? It's a 520. A Ranger 520. You could cast like any way, like there's, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're just hunting like a school. Okay. So there's no like, you're not fighting for, usually the guy in the back maybe does better than the guy in the front because they can just fit. Yeah. Busy running drop shot rig. We got drift. We're playing the drift, right? Yeah. See, my waypoint line kind of runs like this. So we'll just kind of get it close to the end. Okay. Attaboy. Jeff with the first the one. Huh? As soon as I picked it up off the bottom. He was there, huh? Fighting good. He's a pretty good size. Maybe like a three? Yeah, that's a three pounder. Maybe. Two and a half. I suck at weights, dude. I'm the wrong guy to ask about weights. Heck yeah. See how your boat flipping skills are, Mr. Professional Bass yet, Angler. So I don't know. <laughs> I'd reach down for him then. You need net? Yeah. Okay. He's not hooked that good. He's not a small one. That's a nice smallie, dude. Yeah. Very nice. Little guy, actually. But first one. Heck yeah. Dunker. Keeper. That'll work. That's what this one's called, the Gobi Bryant? Yeah. All right, we're gonna try the Gobi Bryant. See, that little one fought hard, too. Yeah, that was a good fight. If you catch a big one, you know, like, when you set the hook, it's like... You know. There he is. They don't, like, do the quick head shake. It's like dead weight. Up here for 30 minutes or so. Oh, I just lost one. <laughs> we catch five or so, four or five, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, you're just now hitting the waypoints, dude. Get them. Oh, yeah. Big oh, yeah, that's a tanker. Let me get the net. Yeah. I'm coming. I think he joked it because he came back and got it. He's a, fire, man. He's a tank, dude. Powder. That's a big one. Got him. Oh, yeah. Solid one. Yeah, baby. Good job. Heck yeah. The hook fell out? Nice. Three pounder. Yeah, that's. You got your scale? Yeah. Yeah, we should weigh those. Just curious. Three pounder. 304. 304. Nice fish, bro. Did he? I don't blame him. Uh, this one might be big. Can't tell, man. He's staying down. 
kicking my ass right in front of the boat here. Yeah, that one's acting a little more serious the way he's swimming. Huh? Nope, he didn't like that. <laughs> he did not like that. No. All right. Spitting oh, he's spitting something up. Yeah, he is. There we go. Like a three pounder, maybe again. Nice, bro. Nice one. Really nice. Heck yeah, good job. I thought he was real big because he didn't want to jump. He was acting real big. You gotta watch it here too, man, because sometimes when those come in, they'll be like five with it. Yeah, that's why I was trying to reel up and get behind you. Bait down, it's like instant. They crush it. Well, let's see. We're working on our best five already. I love it. That one is a 270. Hard to tell in the waves. Yeah. Get as close as you can. Yeah, they could be like I weighed some that were like That's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, he just came off. Oh, that was a nice one, dude. Really nice fish. They're right up there in that little school right there. You think I'm bad with my bait? Look at this kid. All my head stuff is in there. There's probably a heavier, heavier jig head somewhere in there. Okay. That's what I was. Just uh right towards that white boat on the horizon. That's where I was when I had a hook up. And it's only eight pound trap too. Yeah, I probably setting a hook a little hard for eight pound. Yeah, he's going a little randy. Yeah, can't help it, dude. I used to fishing for big fish. That's true. Get faster. That makes them have to eat it. I agree. You know, I gotta make a quick decision. That does make a difference in bite or not, because the more they study it, right. the more you you know you risk. Got some Z-Man. Z-Man, the deal. That's what this one's called, the deal. We'll see if it's the deal. We're gonna find out in a second here. Deadly, deadly, you want that or you good? Uh, or let me know. I'll let you know. He's kind of like that borderline, that two to three pounder, I think. Yeah. He's fighting good. I was gonna say, they all, once they get to the boat, though, they turn Look, there's on. three behind it. Drop in behind here. There's like three right behind it. And I would say almost always the bigger ones are behind. They're like right here now. There you go. Hell yeah. See them? I don't see them. They're right behind this fish. They're right underneath it. You gotta be getting close. There you go. Oh, I think I just got your line. Yeah, sorry. I got it. Oh, oh, jeez, buddy. Keeper. Yeah. That little one. That little guy. Little red eye. That one's like super light colored. Yeah. I got flyers. There you go. Heck yeah. Beautiful bronze bomber. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Oh, there were several behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad, bad. two-pounder. Yeah. See if he's got any buddies behind him. Uh, he's pulling it against the current now. There you go. Need the net there, buddy? No. All right. He does have a big one behind him. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to bite it. Look at him. Dude, that's yep. a big one behind him. There's two of them. I think he's got my thing. Look at that. Oh, he's got yours. Got that's him. Got him. That's a tank. That's a tank. That was awesome. 
That's that a tank. A tank dude. <laughs> that was awesome. That was. He, I don't think I got the, the most of his fight yet. No. Good like thing that. is he engulfed it. I watched him spin and then. I got you. Oh. You can get yours. Yeah, mine's on that. This is a big one. That's a big one. Mine's a nice There's another one behind it, dude. Get yours in. There's another big fish behind mine. Damn, I can't get him in. You need the net? Look at that. <laughs> this is a tank. It's nice out here you don't have to worry about them hanging up on structure, you know? But I feel his teeth grinding against the line. I don't like that too much. Yeah, that thing's smoking. He's trying to eat yours. I saw that. He's trying, like, to, trying to eat my bait. He's trying to eat your fish. And then when I dropped it down, it's like instant. He saw it and just nailed it. That looks like a four. Oh. It's a pretty big one. Yeah, that's a four. He engulfed it so much, I feel it on. I feel his teeth on the line. Oh, that's floor carbon. Yeah. Nice, that's dude. One, dude. That's a tank. Heck yeah, dude. Nice teamwork. That was awesome. I could have gone either way. I could have caught that and you could have dropped in behind. That was pretty cool. Well, it, it was weird because like my fish went over like a dark spot and like I think that one came out of the dark spot. Yeah. You know what this is called, right? Yeah. That's called a new PB. Is it? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, definitely the biggest right. smallmouth I've caught. Yeah, thanks. He's, he's a long one, man. Let's see if he breaks that four pound mark. I think he will. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. He's Check that out, kids. Absolute stud. That's probably a 21, 22 inch yeah. smallmouth. Well, Jeffrey's gonna get a scale on it and see what she reads. Well, let me turn it on first. We could put him in the live well if we want to take some pictures. I'll yeah. If we get a yeah, it'd be a good thumbnail. Survey says. Maybe. It's got the fancy band scale. Oh, uh, ooh, four. I mean, he's bouncing between 482 and 504. Hey, he's a, I'd say oh, he's, he's a five pounder. Five. Pretty close. That'll work. He locked in at 482. Yeah. But that's a big one. Yeah, they do that when they get mad. Heck Interesting. Yeah. Nice fish, man. You can live okay. well if you want. Yeah, let's live well. We'll get Try some thumbnails with them later and yeah, we'll get a nice five five fish limit of four plusers, you know? Where's yeah. live well? Either one of those right there. Right here? Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Heck yeah. Bo's gonna love it. You can ride his little hot wheel out there. Yeah, that's a real fish. Upper ways. Yeah, I could tell it instantly. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's a nice one. And I just cast there like 10 times. So, that he's big, a, it's a good he, look. He's a three or a four. It's a nice fish, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know if it extends. I think it does. It's just bent. Take your time, dude. Totally yeah, that's a nice one. That's a tanker, dude. <laughs> feels really, it feels heavier than mine. Yeah, he's pushing five. I yeah, guess. he feels heavier than mine. Yeah. We'll table that one. That'll be a good double picture. Yeah, the hook just fell out. Yep. Sweet. Heck yeah, dude. Nice fish. Let's see what he weighs, huh? He's gotta be pushed up by. I mean, That's I awesome. Think. Yeah, it's heavier than mine. I could tell when I lifted it up. It's heavier than mine. He did a lot of head shakes. Look how dark his belly is. He did a lot of head shakes and not a lot of like erratic action. Yeah. That's usually. Between 450 and 4.70. Four 
70. Interesting. I thought even heavier. It's all heavier than mine. Yours is just a lot longer. Yeah. But he's thicker. Let me read this to you. Redline Extreme Ultimate Energy Rush. First off, it contains two servings in eight fluid ounces. And let me read you the warnings. Not for individuals under the age of 18. Do not use a pregnant or nursing or contemplating becoming pregnant. Do not take this product with alcohol. This product contains caffeine and other ingredients that have known stimulant effects, such as ephedrine, pseudephedrine. <laughs> this has pseudephedrine in it. <laughs> Didn't get half the fight recorded. See if I get a jump. Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, smallmouth just don't give up. Ever. There we go. Switch. I'll leave that one on record because my battery's about to die. Yeah, I got like 10 more batteries on. Right off of it. Little guy again. Yeah, that's how mine was too. It just pounded it. Sure are pretty in this water, man. It's not too, too little. Not the tankers you're used to. And that's just for your bait, too. That's disappointing. I really needed a new one. Got him. He's acting weird. That's a big head shake. Oh, he threw it. It's probably a two pounder. He's running at me hard. That's disappointing. That's a cool fight, though. Right in the black stuff, too. Right in it. Seems to be a science to that. It wasn't one one little work, and then he just engulfed it. Got no, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Right in that black stuff, dude. This is a nicer fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool looking. That's cool looking. He's just, that's why yours was so dark. I think you pulled him out of that. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. Boy, that thing is gorgeous, man. This might be one of the prettiest smallmouths. I don't want to horse him too much. Yeah, these look pretty good. Beautiful. That is a gorgeous smallmouth. Thank you, sir. I'll tell you what, man. That is one of the prettiest smallmouths. I'll tell you what, man. That's beautiful. Gorgeous fish. Probably three. Yeah, I'd say it's probably around three. A little shallow water dark. I'll tell you what, man. That's three. Like almost three casts. Let's see if we can make it four while you're weighing it. Hitting four? 370. Close. That'll work. Throw them in there? It gives us, uh, okay. Yeah. It gives us 1890. Dude. Our best five. Not bad. I don't think we weighed our first one. It's crazy though, like, so I bet you, I'll, when uh, when we take this fish out of live well, yeah, it'll it be a different be, color. It won't be black anymore. Okay. Yeah, dude, look at the difference, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a behemoth. Heck, yeah. 1890's pretty good bag. For, uh, a couple more gas, and then we're going to go.
Let's see the next set of waypoints I got. Okay. I got like five or six clusters of waypoints. So no. One of them. Never mind, that's a big one. Whatever it is. What you got there, Jeffrey? It's a fucking monkey. A big one. I'm coming. Worry, kids, I'll edit his language. Should I do it, Josh? You're doing it wrong! No, it's a musky. That's a musky. No, it's a musky. Yeah. That looks like the one that followed me earlier. Same size. Well, he doesn't like that. There he goes. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's see if we can land them. I got a picture with you on this one. If we can land them, you know, break you off. I'm rubbing his teeth. His, yeah, his teeth are starting to I can feel it. Oh, you went ready for that. It's okay. Yep, sure shit. There he goes. Far away. He's about down. That's a pretty good sized musky, dude. Pretty good size. Oh, don't hit him on me. <laughs> I'm putting him in the bottom of the boat. That's a lot better musky than you think. It's not a bad one. No, that ain't bad at all, dude. It's not. Where you want to I got you. Boy, you can smell them. Yeah, that's what I said. They stink. Not a bad fish. Pull it out a little further. Got you, buddy. Nice job. He's missing an eye. His right eye is gone. And there's just release. <laughs> Today's angler is going to love that release. <laughs> That's going to be on slow mo. Yeah, I can smell it. There you go. It's not real big, whatever it is. A little small. -y. It's the right kind of fish, that's for sure. It's like once they get to the boat, you're like, that's where they die. Freak out mode, yeah. Probably what those other ones were, like Yeah. Yeah, he's big. He's big. I saw him 10 feet down. He looked big down there. He took, he picked it up and ran to me with it. This was going to be a minute. There he goes. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. Here you go. Oops, never mind. There goes your Gobiashi. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, come it. Gobiashi. Tell Jeff does all the catching. <laughs> Not a lot of the netting. <laughs> That's a good one. Heck yeah. An upgrade. Like I said, he took it and went. I mean, he just ran towards the boat with it. Uh, no, I can get it. I'd say that's definitely a three and a half. Yeah. You can weigh him if you want. Yeah, we gotta be our best five. Got it, thank you. I shook it out for me. Gonna need another Gobiashi. Yeah. What a beautiful fish. Cool. Yeah. We 
we got one that's the smallest one is 277. Alright. Definitely gonna beat that. Yeah, I think it's probably like three and a half. 330? Yeah, sounds about right. No crater. Bending you a little more. Oh, sweet. Look at you, multi-species. Wow, gotta use the duck voice again. <laughs> My drop shot waited like right next to Oh, me. no. <laughs> Yeah, some head shakes are pretty big head shakes, but it doesn't feel like a small mouth the way it's fighting. It feels like a walleye. Yeah, it probably is. I mean, it could be a giant small mouth. No, it looks like a walleye to me. It looks like a big old walleye to me. Not a bad walleye. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, buddy. I say he didn't feel right. Yeah. Not a bad walleye, kids. Not a bad walleye at all. Yeah, I say you're probably right there. Okay, see ya. I was gonna get cute with you, but I'll let you go. Alright kids, I think that's gonna do it for us today. Uh, good day out on Lake St. Clair. It is Sunday, July 31st. Uh, 80 some degrees, water temperature 73 degrees. Uh, drop shots, Ned rigs, tubes, everything worked out here. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.